I have been using the Rab Alpine 2 Kinetic Jacket for around two years for all sorts of uses for wild camping in the wet for fresh casual walks and exploring for high mountain walks with friends and in this video I'm going to talk about all the features of the jacket the material properties and why I consider it to be fantastically versatile just for walking the dogs or for when things get really wet and gnarly even for night hikes so on with the features so inside there's a simple hanger the exterior of the jacket has a double zip and it's made out of Rab's ProFlex 3000 material. It's a soft brush, soft shell like feeling, but with hard shell waterproofing qualities. The shoulders have a heavier duty panels and the pockets are fabulously generous. You can even fit another jacket inside the pocket although that does create a rather interesting look inside the jacket there is a chest pocket big enough for the largest of smartphones and inside it's a lovely soft brush material which helps with the breathability at the bottom there are two elasticated draw cords but if pull these pulled too tightly they can easily snap back loose the arms are pleasantly long to avoid riding up and um, there is a simple velcro closure there's no elasticated gusset inside one of the key features of this jacket is the hood which along with the stretchy nature of the material I find really comfortable. You tend to find, in it, find you or self using it more often than not. There's a size toggle at the back and a polymer bale inside. Inside at the chin there's a lovely soft material which is just divine. It's a blouse on style cut and there's very little riding up at the jacket during stretching activities or even any activity you like really. Can I mention the hood? Perhaps I just can't mention it enough. One thing I like is you don't have to undo the zip to enable the hood to come down. The jacket will stuff inside one of its own chest pockets, although perhaps it won't fit into your Montaigne jacket. Then I mentioned the jacket is stretchy enough to enable you to put a down jacket underneath perhaps not one of the larger ones like you would with a big mountaineering hard shell but it'll certainly accommodate most down jackets the Kinetic 2 jacket has great harness compatibility the pockets are still easily accessible when wearing a helmet and as a mountaineering jacket this is where it really excels with no restriction of movement and I think the material is pretty hard wearing for scrambling and thrutching up against rocks I'm not terribly sure if it'll replace a full hard shell for when it's really cold and blowy but for general mountaineering roofs it's been great so far the jacket has very good helmet compatibility and you can cinch it down snugly around the face again those uh, toggles can snap back it's not 
quite stretchy enough to pull on and off a helmet without undoing the zip but close enough and when you finish there you can easily cinch the hood back to a good fitting position so in this next part i'm out for a wet autumn walk with friends in the northumberland cheviot hills so let's go the steady rain started T time to put this rav jacket on so this is why you dry bag stuff Dave. it's a bunch of ne'er-do-wells i'm out with this is the lovely waterfall of lynn hope spout in northumberland plunges off there a few meters if you look at one of my my whale camps uh, the uh, we had a swim in there this summer one of the chaps has just pointed out that these rocks were split by the victorians using a pin and feathers so they drive these pins in and then wedges which were the feathers to split the rock and uh, so this landscape here was partly influenced by the Victorians. So this is ideal conditions for the Rab Kinetic really. You know it's kind of just a little bit miserly showery and with its really high breathability it's uh, doing a good job of keeping me keeping me comfortable. One simple thing I would say about the fabric it's a little bit like a chalkboard you tend to get these kind of uh, e it easily marks it's very comfortable fabric but it's uh, it's not for business meetings let's put it that way but they sponge off that's fine right onwards and upwards i think this rain's set in now for several hours the rain's uh, setting in now properly but we've just had a big pull up this hill to 730 meters and uh, i feel pretty dry inside actually tiny bit damp and it's classic british mountain conditions that's a little bit bit grubby so arcteryx gore-tex pro what you like inside there will oh, i don't know can you get the zip one done now it's all right i can edit it knock, knock out the tv you will a bit damp a little bit damp so parimo mike what's it like inside there mate it's uh, not too bad actually it's still very warm but yeah. i'm very comfortable thank you very much and dry you're welcome so uh, in your trespass how, how's the dampness James a bit damp a little bit yeah. a bit damp a classic Dinrickson's here yeah let's say yeah it's a little damp there uh, it's a bit of a more of a winter jacket this yeah one. that's right so we're all pretty comfortable but I'm quite pleased with how this feels inside so it's going to rain a bit more now but we'll see if it gets uh, wet out so this jacket is comfortable enough to leave on when you drive home so we've just got back from the 14 kilometers on the hike and finishing off on the misty mountains and i'm still kind of like really comfortable and not damp at all so yeah good day out the jacket has great range for aerobic activities being considerably more breathable than gore-tex pro i'll put some figures below so it's just a go-to jacket for knocking around scrambling walking fast walks and just as a windproof, not necessarily as a waterproof. The jacket has coped well with very heavy downpours that I've been in. Thank you for joining me in this look at the Rab Alpine Kinetic 2. I would encourage anybody considering this jacket just to get it. The features are good, the waterproofing is good, but overall it's just the comfort, it's the jacket that you reach for when all others seem too stiff and cold. You can drive in it, scramble, walk, commute, it's just a lovely easy jacket. So thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, that's that one, and subscribe and tick on the little bell, thank you.